70 years ago, a painting of this house helped make Andrew Wyeth virtually a household name in America and made this old farmhouse one of the most famous images in American art. That painting was Christina's World. Museum director Chris Brownwell says it had tremendous impact. People, you know, don't may not know its name, but if you just say, you remember that piece with the house and the girl in the pink dress looking up to, oh yeah, I remember that. So the first painting that we ever purchased about the first year we were married, print, print was <laughs> Christina's World. 52 years after buying that painting, Karen and Ben Little from Colorado and the Hughes from New York came to Rockland to see the Wyeth exhibit. I, I really appreciate uh, uh, his use of uh, color, uh, darks and lights in all of, uh, most all of his work. I sort of grew up with it. We, I always admired his work, even as a, a young person. Brownwell says the Wyeth 100th anniversary show has been drawing big crowds. They get to see more than 100 of his works, from some of his very first paintings to his very last. This painting was on Wyeth's easel when he died. And I think people today still um, are intrigued and, uh, you know, certainly um, interested in his work. They are also still drawn by the Olson House. Thousands have been making the pilgrimage to Cushing this summer to see where Andrew Wyeth created many of his paintings. So I don't know how else to describe it. It has its own soul and people are, uh, you know, are, are attracted to it. They also get to see where Wyeth is buried across the road in the Olson Family Cemetery. Christina's world is not here. It's on permanent display in New York. But another of his famous works will be. Her room, owned by the Farnsworth Museum, will be the centerpiece of a new exhibit later this month. And it's expected to keep the crowds coming in. In Rockland, Don Carrigan, New Center.